Hello, my name is Mary Roddy. I'm a radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital in London and a member of the OSIRIX UK user group. And today I want to talk about how it is possible for you to import series of JPEG images into OSIRIX if you're in the unfortunate enough position of not being able in your hospital to import uh, DICOM images or it may be that you've got some old uh, historical good cases that are in JPEG format and you want to still be able to use those in OSIRIX. So if you look on my desktop I've got a folder here and this has got um, four series from an MRI of the knee. If we look in each one you can see that there are a series of images and they're all labelled in sequential numbers. It's very important not to mess around with those numbers and change them because if you do that then you may find that when you're scrolling through the image series in OSIRIX it'll jump around a little bit so leave those numbers alone. Um, and what we're going to do is import those series into our OSIRIX database and I'll show you how to do that. So if you open up OSIRIX and look at the top menu bar you'll see uh, plugins and if you click on that and go down to database you will see that you're given an option to convert JPEG images into DICOM images and uh, that will allow you to look at a case in OSIRIX. So all we do is select JPEG to DICOM and we click that and if we look at the desktop we look at that folder and we can see the four different series. Now it's important to highlight all of those series using the shift key and you're now ready to import them but you have to give the case a name and we'll maybe call this case 0001 and in the OSIRIX UK user group by convention we always give the same number to the patient ID as to the patient name um, and we could give it a name, we'll call it um, a study description of MRI knee. Now, you then just click open and what will happen is that case will be imported into OSIRIX. Um, it's happened nice and quickly. Um, it's called case 001 and if we look at the cases they've come over in series and we can scroll through them very nice and easily. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed a rather unpleasant red notice that has appeared at the top of these images and I don't know if this is just peculiar to our PAC system but um, when we export JPEG series uh, we get this nasty warning sign and you can see that I'm already in my annotations I've got none on so this is not a superimposed annotation that I can get rid of it's actually burnt onto the image much in the way that the patient's name is burned onto an ultrasound image so we can use the same strategy to get rid of that red logo as we do for getting rid of patient identifiers on an ultrasound or a nuclear medicine image and the way we do that is to select the rectangular region of interest tool from the top menu and then to draw a rectangle around the image excluding the red writing at the top and then if we press shutter we lose that writing We've gained another OSIRIX generated, not for medical usage logo, so we need to press none in the annotations menu. And now that we've got an image which is just the way we want it, we want to export that into a new DICOM series that we can save into this case. 
And the way we do that is to go to the file menu and we press export and then export to DICOM files and we can give this a name. This is a T1 sagittal image and we want to ex we want to export all the images in the series and it's very important that we don't select this first type of image format because it has regions of interest in it and if we select that one each of our new saved DICOM images will have a not for medical usage logo at the bottom so we can press OK now and we've had a new series created and if we go back to look at our thumbnails we can see that we have our original T1 sagittal sequence with the red not for diagnostic use logo at the top and here is our new one which is logo free I'll just open that up to confirm that to you so that's a nice scrollable image with no external annotations so at this point it's sensible to delete the one that we don't want anymore so we press uh, the right key and then press delete series thumbnails and then press OK and then we're obviously free to fill in the rest of the annotations on this case so um, MRI knee and then some keywords um, normal anatomy and then the age of the patient and then we could put in um, an RCR coding um, and I'd have to look that up so I'm not going to put it in at the moment. So um, I would repeat that same process on the other images and then we would have a nice um, JPEG series. It's clearly not quite as uh, adjustable as a DICOM image but for teaching purpose purposes it's really a very good option. So just to recap, uh, I've explained to you today how you can take series of JPEG images and import them into OSIRIX as DICOM files, still maintaining the series structure and having them in a scrollable form. And I've also shown you what to do if your PAC system, like mine, um, generates a not for diagnostic use logo uh, burned onto all the JPEG images that you import. Um, I hope this is helpful if you come across this problem um, and thank you for your attention.